Now then guys, how you going on? Um, happy Home Brew Wednesday from me. Just basically weekly update. Nothing too much for Kieran today. Um, got a lot to talk through. I'll try and wrap it up in about eight minutes. <laughs> right, fermenting vessel, what's in there? A nice go-to session porter. Um, I did last week when it was absolutely pissing it down with snow. Um, we come out at 4.5%. And so I'm fair made up with that. Just racked it into secondary now. And we've got about 21 litres. So my kegs are 19 litres. So I'll have to bottle a couple up before. And, and obviously just a um, bit of sugar, a bit of bowl conditioning. Um, but no, it's tasting real, real nice. I thought I may have a problem because when I come chilling it down, got the water chiller out, sterilised fruit, and obviously the outside tap is frozen solid. Um, and it's having no connection for my sink tap. So what I did, I just dumped it outside in the snow, packed it all up. Within three hours, it'll cool down, um, and then I transferred it into a fermenting vessel. But, tastes fine, so I think we'll go away with that one. Um, Country wines, as you can see here, one's dandelion, the other one's pineapple, the lighter one. Give a sample um, earlier on. Pineapple is so intense, lovely and sweet, as you want. Finish off at 10.6%. Great stuff. Um, done pineapple wine a few times before, but never with sparkling yeast. Um, so, look forward to that. In the summer, I'm going to get our bottle up um, this weekend. You need to be careful of the bottles. Um, yeah, different story with the dandelion. Now, I picked dandelions this time last year, well, April um, it was. Um, it's meant to be a lovely table wine, especially for Christmas. Because only you, you can drink it after six months, basically. Um, we'll finish off at 22.4%. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> so, I'm tasting it ever so floral on the nose, so so sweet and they use the same amount of sugar as they did for the pineapple and you expect with the pineapple natural sugars as well would have bummed that up but you know I think it was the the pollen I don't know the flavour 22.4% so we're gonna bottle that up maybe in little bottles age them and post them out in some beer mail I think that's the best option for that <laughs> right but I need them to be empty because I got some else going in there. Start off with that. Grapes, cotton candy grapes. Have you ever heard of them? Because I am. Um, same as taste the difference. On offer £1.25. So I've got two kilos full of them. Aromatic grapes with a candy floss flavour. So we're going to do a poor man's Prosecco. <laughs> Why not? Can you get a poor man's Prosecco? Or is Prosecco a poor man's champagne, isn't it? So we're going to do a fruit to glass on that. So all being well, I'm going to get that started tonight um, in my 10 litre fermenting vessel, let it steep for a few days before transferring it into my clean demijohn. Um, I'm going to get a nice good quality sparkling yeast as well. And then come Christmas time, 10 months down the line obviously, we'll give it a sample. Um, and we'll just rack it off every three months as well into a clean demijohn just to um, get rid of the sediment and clear it through. I'm looking forward to that. Should be nice. Strawberries. Pick some strawberries up for a pound as well. Um, two kilo of them. Obviously not English, they're Moroccan. But they smell so lovely. Obviously they're both going out of date, so they should be more than happy to go with some wine and stuff. Nice and ripe, aren't they? But what I'm going to do with the strawberries, I'm not going to do no more wine, because I have got a lot. Um, I'm going to do a strawberry turbo cider. Um, but I'm not going to do that just yet. So what I'm going to do, I'll give the strawberries a good wash, dehead them, whatever you're doing, uh, chop them up, I'm going to freeze them, keep them nice and fresh. And then get my turbo cider done, so I've got some mangroves jack cider yeast, and then um, it's going to go secondary, the strawberries with turbo cider, to infuse it that way. Because I think if I put it in together and then ferment it out, it might lose a lot of the strawberry flavour. Still get the colour, but I want that big strawberry punch. Um, so, yeah, I might do a video on that in a few weeks' time. Well, um, I've got some L for a pound. <laughs> coconut chips, toasted coconut chips. Um, these are two pound in my local health store. The guy who runs it, selling them off for a pound, as a special offer, half price, obviously. Um, 
five bags on the shelf, I snapped all five bags up. So 1.25 kilos, kilograms of toasted coconut, and with that, I'm going to be doing another porter dark ale stout. Um, <clears throat> boil it up, last five minutes, probably took 400 grams in, I'm not sure, and then dry hop the rest a couple of weeks later with the rest of the coconut into a clean fermenting vessel. If you can call it dry hopping, I don't know. Because I had one from Timmy Jenkins a couple of weeks back, and it was one of the best home brews, and it knocked a lot of commercial ales out of the window that I've, you know, that I've ever had, basically. One of the best home brews I've ever had. Top draw, it really was. Um, and I went to Holland and Barrett as well, because in my latest malt miller order, I forgot caracoles. And I need caracoles or dextrin. I read online, and a lot of people say, Flake barley, um, 500 grams of, and this was in the bar and get one half price. So I've got a pack of flake barley, and then I've got some lovely rye flakes. I think that might be a nice addition into a stand. I'm sure it will. I've been using rye malt a lot recently. Um, the rye flakes will they work, guys? Who knows? I'm positive the flake barley will. So I've got them two for £1.96, for, for, for them both basically, £1.96 going on half price. Fair made up with that. So yeah, that's it. Um, one of my kegs is nearly empty, so that's going to go in there at the weekend. So I've got some left in another keg, which was my American Rye IPA. Um, been using the bottle gun again, a bit more. Got so much more used to it now, and a bottle of Fuel up about three days ago in the evening, and it was a solid. Um, had a right, was steady, filled it up nice and steady. Um, spoke to a couple of guys, uh, Big Banana, and I think it was, I can't remember, but he said, you know, slow is the key factor basically, 5 psi, nice and steady, and it seemed to work. So that's it. I've got a guy coming around tonight from Nottingham Brewers Group, my local brewing group as well. He wants to do a beer swap, so we'll be interested to see what he gives me. And I'll give him back three in return. So like I say, I've got them stuff bottled up now, guys. So there will be some beer mail going out next week. Um, you guys know you are. So that's it. All done for this week for me. Um, keep you updated on the strawberry turbo cider. And obviously the poor man's Prosecco, that's going to be lovely for Christmas, but there won't be no update till Christmas on that. Um, may do an update, how it's clearing up, who knows. Oh yeah, and a big bag of malt in the background, look. Simpsons Finest and Maris Otter, £19, from Murphy and Son, just down the road from me. Save me buying it online, because I've got paid delivery as well. Um, about two miles from my house, job done. Until next time guys, catch you in a bit.